Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This session is entitled Parsha Pinchas Marit Ayin. Pasuk says towards the end of the Parsha, Yitam Nikiyam Hashem Yisrael. One must be clean in the eyes of Hashem and in the eyes of the fellow Jews as well. Mishnah in Shkalim quotes this Mishnah, quotes the Pasuk, and tells us that it means that one cannot go into the treasury of the Mishkan, of the Migdash, with any clothing where he'd be able to hide money. Why? So that no one should Hashem accuse him of stealing money from the treasury. Because the Pasuk says he must be clean in the eyes of Hashem and the eyes of men as well. Rav Moshe quotes the Pasuk, he quotes the Mishnah, and he writes that there's two issues over here regarding Marat Ayin. He actually clarifies and separates the two categories. One Marat Ayin and one Chashad. Marat Ayin, Rav Moshe says, means where a person does something and people will look at him and say, well, if he could do it, I guess it's all right for us to do it as well. While Hashad is where a person will look, an observer will see what he's doing and say, wow, I can't believe that that person is doing such a violation. And I look at him in a terrible way. That's how Rav Moshe understands the two categories of Marat Ayn and Hashad. The fact is, the Pesach is needed. One might say that I simply have to do what is right and what is proper. And how people look at me is not my issue. People should be down the kafsahut, should look at me in the proper way. And if they don't, that's their issue, that's their problem. The fact is there's two issues here. Number one, not everyone is down the kafsahut. People unfortunately violate that halakha and don't judge properly others. And because of that, it is important that you preserve your your status among the fellow Jews. And number two, down the kafsahut does not always apply. Sometimes a person doesn't have to judge someone else favorably. Someone who does not always act properly does not always merit that others look at him in a positive way. So therefore, one can do an action which does not look proper, and the observer does not have to be down the kafsachot. Therefore, we have the lacha of Yitem Nikiyem Yashem Yisrael. A person must always act properly in the eyes of God and the eyes of fellow man as well. Tom Sof actually says that this is one of the hardest mitzvot to keep, to go ahead and act properly in front of God and in front of our fellow Jews as well. Shalom.